Hi everyone, today we're back working at Home Depot. It's an early start to my Monday shift here. I already got everything loaded up and I'm on my way to the first delivery. I'm just stopping by a local Casey's store to get the truck fueled up on diesel along with a forklift. But guys, for the first delivery, we have a truck bed fuel tank here along with a big toolbox. So why don't we hop in the truck, put the directions in and get on over to do the first delivery. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. It was a busy weekend at Home Depot. Lots of people ordered several things here. So we are going to be running around town all day making deliveries, which is super exciting. Here I took on this part-time job at Home Depot. And so far you guys are really liking these videos here. And I like driving these big uh, flatbed trucks, running the forklifts. These are a lot of fun here, but these two uh, uh, pallets that we are delivering here are a bit tricky since uh, we do not want to put any dings or dents in them here, but we are coming up on the address. Okay, looks like uh, the person is home as well, but why don't we park on this side of the street, we'll get our hazard lights on, and we'll get to unloading this. Alright guys, let's get going here with a forklift. This thing is so much fun to be uh, driving around here. Just have to make sure no traffic's coming in. We'll get to unloading this here. But like I mentioned guys, I want to be as careful as I can. I definitely don't want to put the uh, uh, forks right through the front of the toolbox here. That would not be good. That would be an expensive uh, damage that uh, uh, we would have to go get a new toolbox for this customer here. But let's see if we could get this on the first try. And there is a little bit of uh, skid plates on the bottom as well. I think that should help us out. Oh boy, guys, this sure is heavy here. We'll just slowly get uh, backed up here. Now, always, uh, you want to travel with the weight towards the ground here. So we'll get it lowered down here. But I will say, guys, uh, this forklift is a little tricky here. There's a few extra controls to it uh, with it sliding back and forth here. And the wheels are out front. So that's another thing you have to worry about with these pallets. But, guys, this is going to be one really cool toolbox here for the uh, workshop. It looks like he has here in his garage so we'll just set it off to the side that way it's not blocking his garage door Alright, we'll put this one right alongside it here. This one was a little bit tricky uh, to get off here. I'm actually just going to slide it off here. I am able to kind of muscle it around. Just can't really pick it up uh, since this is quite heavy here. We'll just kind of get that right off there. So the first delivery is done. Let's put this back up on the truck. Let's head on back to Home Depot. But Monday morning, guys, is usually super busy here. Contractors are getting supplies for the week. And there's so many things that need to get done. All right, the first delivery is done here. That took about a half hour here. That's driving from Home Depot all the way out to the uh, homeowner's property, getting it dropped off, and we'll be back on the road here. Now, that did require the entire flatbed, but sometimes, guys, when it's only a pallet or two, we could probably do three, four deliveries before we have to get back here. That is a lot easier for us, and it's a lot less back and forth to Home Depot. Alright guys, we're back here, so I'll just kind of park out front here. Usually uh, someone is going to uh, get this ready to go for the next delivery here, but while I was on my way back, I did get a phone call from my manager who said I have to do a rental drop-off here. They want the trailer as well, so why don't we just take the uh, uh, Chevy 2500 where you have to load up the uh, Kubota Mini Excavator on this tote deck trailer. Oh, 
Home Depot rentals, guys, is a big part of the business here. There's so many small hand tools, all the way to big machines like this excavator that uh, homeowners and even contractors can rent here for an hourly basis, a day, a, a week, or even a month here. And uh, this one, I believe, is a two-day uh, rental here. They did ask to keep the trailer on site, which is also easier here for us. So let's go get this dropped off quick. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down low here. My day's been really good and I have so many cool things here in the works for the channel. So hope everyone is super excited here. But let's see, is this house number 49? It is okay. All right, let's get the trailer backed in here. Let's see if we can do it on the first try. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have no problem here. Now they did say leave it on the trailer. I'm not sure if uh, the uh, homeowner or the contractor is gonna use it on this house, but this was the drop off location. Awesome. And I'm just gonna put a, a lock here on it, the, put the lock in the, uh, the key to the lock in the toolbox there, but let's get on back to Home Depot. This Chevy Silverado, guys, is a rental truck here. So not only do we use it to drop off other rentals, a customer can rent this out here. These actually get rented out almost like every single day. These are quite popular, which is a pretty neat here. But I'm going to run inside here, uh, grab a quick bottle of water here, and, and talk to my manager and see what's next here. But yeah, it looks like there's a few other rental machines that are out with customers. Guys, we just got our biggest delivery we have to make here in the warehouse. Already got the trailer loaded on up here. Look at that. This is sweet. I've been looking uh, for a truck trailer and forklift like this for quite some time. But here it is, guys. We got the forklift. I believe this is a 50-foot trailer. We got some drywall. We got some insulation, some 2x4s. Those look to be maybe 2x12s. And wow, look at how many pallets that is. That is going to be a lot of unloading here, but why don't we hop here in this Western Star, and we are actually heading on over to a house that's being built, and these are all the supplies for it. It's my first time driving a big truck like this here, especially on these smaller town roads here, so we have to be pretty careful here, but this is super exciting. This is actually a really neat Western Star. I'm a big fan of body styles on, but like I mentioned, guys, this is our biggest delivery here. I don't think uh, people order this much stuff other than when you have a big project going on, like building a house. Having a big truck and trailer like this, guys, allows us to bring all the supplies in one trip for that order here, which really does help us on out here. That way we don't have to make two trips out to the uh, customer's property uh, for an order like this here. But yeah, this should be most of the supplies to put the house together, which is definitely a good thing here. It's gonna be a lot of fun running these forklifts, so especially this one. And this is a busy, busy county road. Guys, it looks like we're pulling up to the property here. Wow, that looks like a pretty decent sized house. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our hazard lights on and we ju just have to be pretty careful as we park on the side of the road because the speed limit here is about 45 miles per hour and cars are going to be driving fast, but we'll have to work around it. All right, guys, let's get to unloading this here. I did talk to the contractor. He said to put it off to the right-hand side where that open dirt area is, and I already got this all unstrapped here, so we should be ready to go. Let's hop here in the forklift here. Now, running this forklift, guys, is so, uh, so much fun here. Let's see, we have to get it lowered. All right, guys, let's get to unloading this here. Now, one thing I have to do is slide that all the way out so we can have all the reach here. Now, I'm wondering, the these that are stacked in threes, I think we could get all of those at once. We just have to be pretty careful here. Hopefully, there's enough ballast on the forklift. This is about 18 feet long here, these boards. Wow, just look at how long that is. Definitely have to drive pretty slowly here. Hopefully, uh, we don't end up having these slide off of pallets here. But guys, this, like I mentioned, is actually kind of cool getting a big delivery like this. We have to watch the pickup truck over there. And we should probably start the pallet uh, pile right about here. Yeah, there is going to be so many pallets. I think there's almost 12 pallets between all of them.
All right, we're just now unloading the last of the pallets here. I actually have two pallets here, so I want to be pretty careful, especially with one of these being drywall here. We definitely don't want to damage that. Otherwise, they won't be able to do that step of the project here. But guys, I think I'm going to put the forklift back up on the truck and head on back to Home Depot here. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.